Number one asks us to evaluate eight to the five thirds power. So remember that you looked at a rule um, for whenever we see an, an exponent that's a fraction. So this rule says that this bottom number is actually the root. And then this top number is the exponent. So we would have um, the nth root of a to the m power. So the bottom is the root and the top is the exponent. So if we apply that here, okay, we would have the cube root of eight to the fifth power. And then this five can actually go inside or outside of the radical depending on what's easiest for us to evaluate. So I'm going to write it like this because I don't know 8 to the 5th power. I mean, I could use my calculator to figure it out, but what I do know is the cube root of 8 because 1 to the 3rd power is 1 and 2 to the 3rd power, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 is the cube root of 8. And then I can figure out um, 2 to the 5th power by just multiplying 2 together 5 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So 8 to the 5 thirds power is equal to 32. Number 2, select all expressions that are equal to 64 to the 3 halves power. So I'm just going to start simplifying this first. So we would have the 2 as the bottom. So this is really a square root of 64 to the third. Um, and then the square root of 64 is nice. So I'm going to do the square root of 64, which is 8. And then I still have to the third power. And 8 to the third power is 8 times 8, which is 64, times 8 again, which is 512. So now we've got a few different things to look at as we're looking through all of these options. So it's not equal to 96 since it's equal to 512. We see 8 to the third. It's certainly equal to that. It is also equal to 512. It is definitely not equal to 4 squared. Um, and this is really a square root. We don't have to write the 2 here when it's a square root since that's the smallest it can be. So square root or with a two there. So these are the same thing. So it's that and it is not this. We don't put the three down in the root. Number three, write an expression, write the expression 17 to the four thirds using radicals. So remember we'd have the cube root, that's our radical. And then we have 17 to the fourth power. Number four, an arithmetic sequence K starts at 4, 13. Explain how you would calculate the value of the 5,000th term. So remember, this is just um, adding whatever the common ratio is, in this case, 9. So that gets us, so 4 is our first term. So we add 9 once to get to our second term. We would add it twice to get to our third. So we would need to add 9 4,999 times to get to that um, 5,000th term. So we'd have to do 4 plus 9 times 4,999 to get to that 5,000th term. Number 5, select all items equivalent to the square root of 24. So the area of a square with side lengths of 24, that would not be true because that would be doing 24 times 24. So the area would be 24 squared, not the square root of 24. The side length of a square with area of 24. So yes, if the area is 24 to go down to the side lengths, they'd have to be square root of 24 to multiply to get to 24. So that's true. The positive number x, where x times x equals 24, yes, that's the definition of a square root, the number times itself that equals kind of that inner number. The positive number y, where y equals 24 times 24, no, because that's going to be y equals 24 squared, not the square root of 24. The edge of a cube with volume 24, no, that's going to be cube root. 
So this would be cube root of 24, not square root, because you'd have the same number times itself three times. And then the volume with an edge of 24, no, because you'd be multiplying 24 together three times, which would be 24 cubed. Number six, which expression is equivalent to 23 to the one half power? So remember that's like a square root because we've got that two there and the one here. So then that's just square root of 23. So that's D.